Whether you're new to Space Haven or an old crusty spacefarer like me, you might need a little primer on the power systems. We'll talk about power grids, nodes, sources, storage, and consumers. Let's get into it. There are two different power grids on each ship, low capacity and high capacity. Low capacity power is transmitted through any connected hull section. As long as you have a power producer that matches your low capacity power consumption or have some stored, your life support systems, hyperdrives, and some resource facilities will function. High capacity power is only transmitted in an area of round power nodes. A facility's high capacity power tile signified by this icon must fall within the coverage area for one or more power nodes. Using the power overlay UI, the low capacity power grid is shaded blue while the high capacity grid is green and the high capacity consuming facilities are shaded yellow. Power nodes come in small or large. Selecting the power node and clicking the power grid button will bring up the power overlay and clicking the green arrow buttons to the right of the range slider will shift the coverage area. If you're coming back to Space Haven after a long hiatus, generators no longer provide high capacity power coverage. You will need at least one power node. Now that we know how power is distributed, let's take a look at how it's created. The general rule of thumb is, as you unlock the next tech level, the generator gets more efficient, but takes up more space. At the lowest tech level, the Energium Power Generator converts raw Energium into power. By default, this tech is unlocked. It will require two system points, three infra blocks, two tech blocks, one power block, and 40 tools. And it takes up a 2 by 3 area. The next three generators use energy rods to produce power instead of raw energium. The X1 power generator is unlocked once the power capacity node and the X1 power generator are researched. While the power capacity node only requires research points, the X1 requires successful experimentation on two energium. To build this, it costs two system points, four infra blocks, four tech blocks, one power block, and 40 tools takes up a 2x4 area. The X2 power generator is unlocked once the X1 and X2 generator are researched. The X2 requires successful experimentation with 3 energium and 1 energy rod. To build this, it costs 2 system points, 5 infra blocks, 5 tech blocks, 2 power blocks, and 50 tools. It also takes up a 3x4 area. Now the X3 generator is unlocked once the X2 power generator and the X3 are researched. The X3 requires successful experimentation with three energium and two energy rods. To build this, it costs two system points, six infra blocks, six tech blocks, three power blocks, and 60 tools. It also takes up a 4x4 area. Solar panels provide a passive low capacity power source based on proximity and intensity of the system star to your ship. This is unlocked once the power capacity node and solar panel are researched. To build this, it costs 4 infra blocks, 1 power block, 1 hull block, and 50 tools. Note that it does not require any system points. It's free energy. Let's compare the spec sheets for those power sources. Note that power capacity increases with higher tech levels and more energy is produced per energy rod primarily at the cost of more blocks and more space but the system points required remain the same. Even with all this power generation, sometimes industry facilities generate a high load on the high capacity grid and the ship goes on backup power. While every generator has 50,000 backup power storage capacity, this can be increased for both the low capacity and high capacity grids. Power capacity nodes boost the storage capacity of power nodes to handle sudden spikes in the high capacity grid. But also adds to power boost if you want to overcharge a nearby system during combat. This facility is the first tech unlocked in the power section of the tech tree and will cost one system point, two power blocks, ten tools, and a two by one area. Note that power nodes have a small amount of power capacity while the power capacity node increases this 10 or 20 fold. Also note that the distance from a power node affects how much additional load the power capacity node can cover for a power node. 
The backup power node stores an additional 15,000 power at the cost of one power block, 60 tools, and a 2x1 area. This is unlocked with the solar panel tech research. So now that we know where power comes from, how to distribute it, and how it's stored, we can look at what consumes it and how to determine how much power we need. If a facility requires advanced power, it will be indicated in the info card in the build menu by yellow text in the power consumption section that states, uses high capacity power grid. This generally means it must have high capacity power to function, with the hyperdrives being the exception. The hyperdrives charge significantly faster under a high capacity power grid, but can still be charged on low capacity power only. If we look at the power overlay again on this industry ship I've built, we can watch the numbers over the facilities change as they're in use. Don't worry about the alien infestation, nothing to see there. While idle, there is some minimal power consumption, but it ramps up while in use, and this consumes the stored power in the nearest power node. There's not enough high capacity power stored in the nearby nodes, the ship will revert to backup power and drain that pool. This can be fixed with power capacity nodes placed nearby, placing more power nodes with more localized, high capacity grids, or managing industry orders to reduce consumption. I'm not getting into power management from a ship UI standpoint, that's a topic for another video. I hope this provides a good primer for how the new power systems in Space Haven work since they've changed significantly over the past few alphas, with some simplification while retaining some complexity. There is a lot of room for error, even on brutal difficulties, so get out there and experiment with your ships and have fun. Buh bye bye